welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Sophia. If you are new here, I'm based in San Diego, California, and this is um, going to be my plan with me for October. Um, every month I like to get all of my stuff reorganized in my planner um, just to make sure that I'm completely set up for success. Um, I, I didn't really get to do this in September because I got COVID. Um, I also was not doing it in August because I was a hot mess. So here we are. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll take you through exactly where I plan things, how I reorganize my planner. Um, I do have a little notepad here just to make sure that I am doing everything that I want to show you. Um, and this is actually the new cloth and paper memo notepad that came in the September subscription haul and I am obsessed. I literally just used this for my planning today just because I knew I was going to reorganize my actual planner. Um, so before we dive into this, I do want to let you know that I'm going to be doing a giveaway, so stay tuned for the end to see what's included and how you can enter. So let's get started. Okay, so before I started this video, I did reorganize my dashboards. I like to change up my dashboards a little bit at the beginning of the month. Uh, traditionally, I was having my card holder in the very front, but I decided to put the 2020 in there. Um, I don't know if I like it, but it was a little bit of a change up and I wanna make sure that I'm keeping things fresh. I also added in the new changes dashboard. I did a little bit of a layering thing here just to make sure that um, it was, uh, appealing for me. Um, it does cover some of it, but whatever. I like the color contrast with the grays and the pink and then the J'adore card holder. Um, so that was another change. I always keep my, uh, my year to glance in the very front just so I can make sure that all of this is updated. Um, so that's the first thing I'm going to look at is my October a uh, year at a glance and I can already tell there's things on there that have been canceled. <laughs> um, so I was supposed to be going to Cabo on the 8th. That's not happening. So I'm going to just put a little X there. And then the only other thing that I have going on is my best friend's wedding. She's having a very, very small wedding event that I am in on the 24th. And then I also want to add in a sticker for the week of Halloween. Um, not sure what my husband and I are going to do. We were thinking about maybe taking a long way home because her wedding's in Paso Robles. So maybe seeing some things along the way home. I don't know. So I just want to put a little dot. And I'm going to put it for Thursday just to maybe showcase maybe a day off or two or something. I have so much PTO stacked, <laughs> holler if you're with me, um, that I wanna take. <laughs> I need to take that, uh, take that PTO. Um, and then also November, I feel like I need to put a dot on when's Thanksgiving? Oh my God, I gotta look that up. Wow, Thanksgiving's late this year. It's the 26th. I feel like that's something I should probably know, but I always have to look it up. I, I, I never know. Um, okay. Um, and then I'll put a little sticker in for December as well for the holiday. Um, I'm going to put it in on... I'm going to put it on the 24th because that's when I officially am off of work is the 24th through the next week. And I'll put in a tape for the actual week of the 27th through the end of the month. Cool. Um, and that's it. I don't really write anything in unless something's canceled. Like you can see here, I put canceled because that was a trip and then there was another trip in July I got canceled. Um, and then obviously I put just a little X there for my Cabo trip that is no longer happening. Wah. Okay. Um, the other thing that I added in for October is the new inbox dashboard. I clipped in the zero, the inbox zero card holder here. I really like how it looks. Um, I like, obviously, I love these clips. They were like 10 bucks or something on Amazon. I'll link them below, but they're something that just like add that little, they're just so cute and they look good with the gold rings and yeah, vibey. So 
Anyways, clip that on there just so it's right there because I figured out a way of how to use the inbox inserts for me. Um, I got some inspo from the cloth and paper Instagram. She had put in appointments and it looked really, really cool. I liked how she did it, um, except I put it in more for work stuff. So I have just some outlines of how to run a successful appointment when I switch over or when I go over to my inbox. I'll just see everything right there. Um, and I don't plan on changing it up too much. So yeah, I like how that worked out there. Okay, so now I'm going to flip to my first top tab desk uh, planner divider. And this is gonna take me straight to my October where I will be starting. So I'm gonna take this out just cause I have some sticky notes lined up here. I don't want it to um, look weird when I'm writing. Um, and then I also put the October dashboard in front here so that will go above the October. Cool, so I'm gonna fill this out and hope you follow along, I don't know. this out um I always will do the goal section catered to my job um okay and then I also do obviously important dates this is both for work and for my personal use uh, I just did the days I marked down that Orange Theory is doing their hell week and the dates that they're doing them I'm trying to do at least four in the week of the 8th through the 20th um and then I just marked down mostly at the end of the month I'm leaving for Paso and Kimmy's wedding and that's pretty much my October. Um, and then on the bills due, oh I guess I should do first, fifth. And for my bills due section, I, I, I have a terrible memory with what bills are happening so this has been super helpful for me to just to have a snapshot of it. And then I can always go back on the previous month just to look at all the dates before that because um, I have a hard time with that. Um, okay, and then on the side here, I always do just a couple. I have um, just a couple goals. Okay, so now I'm going to take, I'm actually going to not use the saddle. Okay, so I wanted to try these new avant-garde dots. So I'm going to use these for the month planning as well as uh, coordinating this. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to look a little bit different than last month, but here we go. I wish that I didn't highlight this in gray because I feel like that is screwing up the look and feel of it. But you know what? It's it's good. I'm, I'm good with it. Okay. So now I'm going to go back to my top tab. Switch over. And I'm going to put... All I do on this page is typically just put in dots where I have my important days from this one. So I'm going to do that really quick. that um, we have to quarantine. <laughs> um, so I am quarantined the 8th through the 22nd, which is chill. Um, so I use my highlighter to quarantine myself from 8th through the 22nd, and then we are hopefully not here from the 22nd. Uh, I mean, ultimately I'd like to be gone through Halloween and just do a, a fun road trip, cheap road trip for um, PTO's sake, but if not, then whatever, I'm just gonna be on PTO those days. <laughs> okay, um, so then I have done a key before, so over on the side here I was using different stickers for either bills or important days, um, but because I used the same sticker, just the black dots on all of them, I'm gonna write a quick little to-do list for October on the side that I have been putting off. <laughs> Okay, 
So that's pretty much done as far as what I do as far as organizing my October snapshot. I am using these little um, half half page task cards. Oh, fuck. Sorry, I don't I don't remember what they were calling them. <laughs> I actually clipped a planner card to this just to make it a little bit more uh, I I don't know visually appealing I guess. And then I could just use this bottom part here for any sort of notes that I want to take. It also groups them all together so it's not just like a bunch of them. I only have like three in this area but anyways I like how it looks. I like how uh, everything's turned out. I was very simple this week. I didn't really get into any stickers or anything. I just used highlighter and pen most of it. Um, okay so moving on the next top tab I have is under my schedule tab. So I'm going to Skip over to the schedule. I rearranged my dashboard for the schedule tab to use the, I guess this is an ampersand. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay. So then I always will re-up my dashboards, not my dashboards, my top tasks with some sticky notes. So I have the new gray sticky notes here. I have some, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, hexagons. <laughs> <laughs> Who does that? Hollow. Uh, <laughs> um, and then I have some of the um, inbox sticky notes here if I need to put any. Um, I have some dailies. I took some dailies out just because I didn't want to bulk it up because I'm not using dailies on a daily basis. <laughs> um, okay, so then the next one is my list tabs. I didn't do anything with the dashboard there. I, I like how it looks still, so I'm keeping that. Okay, so the next project I need to do is transfer all of my notes over to this tab here. So I am kind of sick of the Cornell style note inserts. They're just, they're not working great for me as far as notes go for work. Um, I'm much preferring the new dot grid inserts for, um, I got these in my last box, the August subscription box. Um, and these are way better for me. So I have like my subject line and then I highlight the date and then whatever notes I need to take. Um, so I need to, I know it's going to be a, a task, but essentially I want to transfer these notes either on here or on my computer. Um, so yeah, so there's that. I don't have any sticky notes or anything here. Um, just cause I guess I should put some on. <laughs> I'm going to put some memo sticky notes on here. Just a couple. And then I'm gonna use some of the round sticky notes. A little here. And that's really it. I feel like these notes are definitely more brain dumpy, so I don't really care if I write something in and then it just ends up being irrelevant. I can do something with it. Anyways. Okay, so that's it for the list section, and then I go to my project section. The only thing I really need to do here is redo my inbox for this. Um, I'm going to move it over. Actually, I'm just going to take it out right now. The Hobonichi inserts, I'm obsessed with. I love the Hobonichi inserts. However, I don't use them on a weekly basis. Um, I started this here for this week. Um, I need to refill everything out. Um, but I ended up getting caught up on the other side of it, which was just a relevant notes I need to take for that week. Um, so we're just going to update my inbox. I'm going to take out the September card. Can you see that? Yep. And I'm going to put in the October one, which I think is right here. Yes, it's October. Um, and one of you commented in my last video that there's a film on here and... Ugh, how amazing is that feeling when you put off, when you take film off? <laughs> so I'm going to put this right here. Perfect. And that's all I'm going to do right here. This is, I'm just, I'm going to leave this blank for now. I think I have things that I want to do with it for work. Um, and I'm not going to do that on film. So we're just going to keep this here. I have some memo sticky notes here that I can put onto here, which come in so, they're so handy. Now the next section that I have is my finances. Um, 
I don't really need to do anything with this section here. I didn't, again, I didn't change out the dashboard just because this is a pretty, it's just one of the newer dashboards and I'm not really in my finance section that much. Um, it's where I have my wish list, tra wish list trackers um, for our new house. I will put in things that I want to save up for. Um, so yeah, so that's just my finance section. I'm not going to do anything with it right now. Um, and then my next section are goals and ideas, which are, it's just my journaling area where I do all my journaling. Um, this is where I'll put in like stickers and stuff. Okay. Um, and then the last section is miscellaneous where I have my habit tracker. So again, I didn't, I, I didn't change out that many dashboards. <laughs> I usually will change out like one or two, um, just cause I don't want to waste dashboards that they're so pretty. Okay. So I'm going to take out my September tracker and I'm just going to throw it away. I know feels wasteful. Um, but I fell off the wagon in September just cause we got COVID and I wasn't walking. I wasn't, <laughs> wasn't doing anything. Uh, I was definitely not clean eating. So, <laughs> um, I'm going to pretty much just copy this onto October because I really want to keep track. Like I said, just literally copy pasted October from September or September to October. Um, the goals that I'm doing are working out five times a week, water a gallon a day at least, um, clean eating six times a week, give myself one cheat day, cheat day, I don't know what that's going to mean. Um, <laughs> and then uh, walking eight to 10,000 steps a day, which I struggle with. Um, that is the hardest task on my list. So I don't know about you. Anyways. Okay. So that's pretty much it as far as getting set up for October. I think I am feeling really good. I will put the avant-garde dots on the side here just to keep them off hand. That's where I put all my stickers and yeah. Oh no. Where was this supposed to go? officially done. Cool. Um, so like I said in the very beginning of the video, I do have a giveaway that I want to do for you guys. I ordered two of the cloth and paper subscription hauls and I got them obviously in different sizes, one for my pocket and one for my A5. And that just means that I have some extra stuff in here that I want to be giving to you guys. So I'm just going to go through that really quick. So it's not going to be all of the products just because a lot of it was catered to a pocket size. And I feel like that's a very, um, rare size for people to have, um, rare. I don't know. It's not rare, but you know what I mean? Anyway. So, um, what it's going to include are the oat milk and sorbet shape sticky notes. Try saying that five times fast. Um, I happen to have an extra one of these I want to give out to you guys. The colors are beautiful. This is more like a neutral pink where you have a true pink here. It kind of matches my um, desk pad. Really like it. Um, and then I also am including the planner card. So it will have the November card and then it will also have the inbox zero card as well as the November card that you can actually write on and then also the um the planner card that says this success is not the absence of failure it is persistence through failure so that's all going to be included in this little guy and then I also am including avant-garde dots that I just used in my plan with me I'm also going to be including the linen circle sticky notes that are beautiful, love that color. I'm going to be including the new memo pad. This is, I love it, I love the color. So I've been using this pretty much since I got it. <laughs> um, and it just lives over on the side of my desk. And then I'm also going to be including the cardstock Frank Ocean quote, to work hard in silence, let success be your noise. I. I'm thinking that this is a good giveaway. It has a little bit of everything, but yeah, um, the way that you can potentially get my giveaway is 
make sure that you are subscribed to this channel go ahead and like this video make sure you are following me over on my Instagram as well you have to be following me and you have to be subscribed to my channel um, and I will be also putting a post up for the giveaway you have to like the post and share that post and tag me in your story um, I'll make sure to list the uh, rules below because I know that's that's it's a lot I just said <laughs> um, but yeah I hope that you enjoyed this October plan with me I hope that you participate in the giveaway I, I like this giveaway um, and yeah I hope you're having a great day hope you're as excited for October as I am and I will be seeing you guys next time have a great week and great weekend bye